Hello everyone, so welcome back to Balance My Hormones YouTube channel. So we're just going to have a bit of a different different chat this time. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is... Is there an age, age specific with TRT? Is there an age that, um, that it specifically affects? What is there an age where it, it's not suitable, where TRT is not suitable? Um, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Well, we tend, uh, the doctors tend to see patients from the 20s. Um, average is probably closer to 35, yeah. 30s, um, up into 40, 50, yeah. 70 year, year olds as well. So, so, so there is an age group, isn't there, where um, it's more likely because of the natural aging process. In yeah. the same way, you would likely see somebody um need glasses right don't tell me that i just found out i need glasses <laughs> so you need verifocal glasses like mike's just been told he's got from oh, you know age step. 40 yeah. and 60 but, in, but, but i, I am on, but I am on yeah. the average trend well the uk yeah. i think it's between age 44 and 46 so yeah I'm, I'm within that window so so, so you, um, you could say you need reading glasses and verifocals from like you know from age 40 onwards or something yeah, like yeah. that and, and you to... might see a lot of people in that area yeah. same with testosterone requirement if yeah. they've got low levels but you still may get guys younger and i wouldn't say you know obviously there are oh, there are there are certain them. areas yeah. where where doctors specialize in delayed puberty and they use it there and things like that but in talking it is adults yeah it is adults, you know, so for when, when you have developed after that sort of developing age that you, you, you begin to see more. And I'd say the majority is sort of in that older yeah. past. Yeah, and it 35 to gets 55. Same ones, arthritis. I, I, you know, this is just another thing. And you could link them all up, you know, that actually they're all part of the aging yeah. process. So why would you give reading glasses? I think Dr. Chrysler said, why would we do injections into arthritic knees? Yeah. Uh, why would we do orthopedic surgeries if you're not allowed to give someone normal amounts of testosterone from aging where it's dropped? But in the same way, arthritis, you see a lot in elderly, yeah. you know, sort of your That's age. Almost, no, 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 no. But like 60 to 80, you're gonna see some arthritis, yeah. right? But in some people earlier on, there might be something that's gone on. There might be a bit of an environmental factor, injuries, elevated, loading on joints. Elevated SHGB. That's um, another example. SHBG. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I think that's where it all links in. So there isn't really an age where you go, well, it absolutely starts here. The doctor's got to be on a on a patient to patient everyone's treated separately, looking at blood, looking at medical history and or trauma and past injury right. and illness and things like that, and then they're treated accordingly. So right. there isn't, I mean, is there too old an age? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. We've had, I mean, we tend, there's, there's a trend of the people that will go out and reach this, but... Um, I suppose. It, rather than age, I'm sure it would actually be assessed on the patient. Yeah. You might get a great 80-year-old that's got better markers and physically in shape and better history than some 50-year-olds. You know, it just, I think age probably is the thing to remove in some aspects. I'm not sure, but I'm sure the well, doctor would... I, you know, as long as there's no um, other comorbidities, that there's no other issue yeah. with them being on treatment, yeah. uh, you know, I, I can't see why the doctor would, would but it's, it's up to the doctor at the, at the end of the day, and yeah. you know, and if they feel it's, it's appropriate, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Okay, so with, with TRT, is there is there an age that's too old to receive therapy? Yeah. Um, that's something people ask, isn't it? I mean, there are people of all walks of life that, I mean, all ages really that are on, on TRT. Mm -hmm. it, you know, if one started when they're younger and they maintain it throughout their adult life, yeah. then you know it, there could, you don't have to stop because you sometimes see this, don't you? If people ask the question, "Well, what year do I have to stop?" You know, it's yeah. not like you're giving up your your driving license because yeah, you reach yeah. a certain age. Yeah, you don't have to <laughs> yeah. give up your testosterone yeah. because you reach a certain <laughs> age. Uh, in, in fact, it's better if you've continued it from from a younger age. Yeah, uh, and to hopefully reduce some of the signs of aging. And and why? Because of the telomeres. Right, right, the telomeres the, and the, the caps of the chromosomes that start unraveling as we age. We know that right. testosterone can reduce that unraveling and, and so stem some of the, the times of aging. My yeah. knowledge, 
they get shorter. They with get age. shorter. They start unraveling. In Think your of, DNA, they it, get shorter. Yes. Am I yes, right? Yes. Yes. And right. that then brings on lots of the age-related diseases. Right. We know testosterone keeps those ends kind of capped, like the like the the cap on your shoelace. Okay. Okay. It keeps yeah, it from yeah. unraveling. Yeah. Um, testosterone has that effect, that oh, impact. Okay. So you could you know, extrapolate and say, well, you know, if it's doing that, why not continue it all the way all the way mm. along your entire life? What, what about starting though? What if, if you if if what I suppose the the, the doctors that you, you would it would be providing your care are obviously going to assess you personally those sorts of things look at that but is is there an age that's too old to start? I mean that's going to be an individual case by case basis. The doctor's mm. going to have to look at your generalised health, you medical know, conditions. I, I think starting hormone after so many years and not having it, you know, it could be a help. But but we do know that there are. You know, when these drugs were first developed, even the anabolic steroids for people that had cachexia and, and, and wasting yeah. were given at all different ages and, and, and stages of life. Mm -hmm. You know, anabolic steroids to help improve their body weight, to help improve their appetites, mm. and 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 actually that was from you know getting them nearly out of the hospice yeah. into uh, at least stabilizing. And estrogen, estrogen is you know that we obviously produce from our testosterone as men. Um, is cardio protective and it declines if your testosterone declines over age so if you add that back in i, th I think you know maybe Have it, having enough estrogen yeah. on trt is where that sort of links in yeah and that's right. that's where you get it from a secondary effect of the testosterone being aromatized in, into estradiol yeah so a lot it, of the benefits of trt come from the estrogen conversion absolutely yeah yeah, yeah the, the yeah. improving insulin sensitivity so, um, which might yeah. indirectly help with fat burning, yeah. uh, which also helps with your cardiovascular and cardiovascular protection. System, yeah. So there's lots of benefits. Estrogen isn't the, the evil monster it was once made out no, to be. No. Um, but they, they, so there's not really an age that you can't say there's an age where I, you wouldn't I use it. I think it has to depend on the individual. Absolutely. Fine. And so there's no definite. There's answer no to definite that. answer. I, I think that's between the patient and the doctor. Yeah. And, and, and the entire workup and the examination the doctor will do on the patient to determine yeah. whether or not it's appropriate. It's not, it's not really for us to say. Mm. So. Great. Okay. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for future content.